Good morning boys and girls, I hope you're all okay today. Right, we're going to start our morning off with our good morning song, so can you show me your waving hands? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning dear friends, and how do you do? Right, next we're going to do our class prayer, so can you put your hands together please? Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. Right. Yesterday, it was Sunday. Sunday. What day is it today, boys and girls? That's right. Today is Monday. Monday, Monday. So we'll do my turn, your turn. My turn, today is Monday. Your turn. Well done. And this week we are starting off our week with a new book. And this book is called Topsy and Tim Go to the Dentist. Do you know what a dentist does? That's right, a dentist looks at your teeth. So we're going to read this story. So all you need are your looking eyes and your listening ears. Okay. It was time for Topsy and Tim to visit the dentist. Mummy took them to see Mrs. Berry, the dentist at the health centre. They sat in the waiting room and read comics. The dentist's door opened and out came Josie Miller and her mummy. Josie smiled at Topsy and Tim. I've got to wear a brace on my teeth, she said. Why, asked Topsy. To make my teeth grow straight, said Josie. Mrs Berry is ready to see you now, Topsy and Tim, said the nurse. There they are in the waiting room. Hello twins, said Mrs Berry. Your surgery smells funny, said Topsy. It's a nice clean smell, said Mummy. Who wants to go first, said Mrs Berry. Me, said Tim. He climbed into the dentist's chair. Mrs Berry clicked a button and the chair tilted back. Tim felt like a rocket pilot. Mrs Berry put on a disposable mask over her nose and mouth. What's that for, asked Tim. So that I don't breathe over you, said Mrs Berry. Open wide and let me see your teeth, said Mrs Berry. Tim opened his mouth as wide as he could. This small mirror will help me look for holes in Tim's teeth, said Mrs Berry. Little holes can turn into big holes and big holes can turn into toothache. There were no little holes in Tim's teeth. Your turn now, Topsy, said Mrs Berry. She found a little hole in one of Topsy's teeth. I'll clean that hole and put a filling in it, said Mrs Berry. It will stop food pieces getting in and turning nasty. First, Mrs Berry hung a sucking tube in Topsy's mouth. That's to stop you dribbling, she said. The tube made funny sucking noises. Then she used her whizzy drill to clean out the hole in Topsy's tooth. The nurse gave Topsy a glass of pink water to rinse her mouth. Then Mrs Berry dried the hole with a little air blower so that the filling would stick tight inside. The nurse mixed a tiny bit of silver filling. Tim watched her. That's Topsy's filling, she said. Mrs Berry pushed the silver filling into the hole in Topsy's tooth. She pressed it, pressed it down and made it perfectly smooth. There, good as new, said Mrs Berry. Did it hurt? asked Tim. The drill was noisy, said Topsy, but it didn't hurt. You've both got good teeth, said Mrs Berry. Keep them that way, eat lots of different foods, but remember, sweet foods can hurt your teeth, so don't eat them too often. Never forget to clean your teeth in the morning and at bedtime, and don't eat or drink in bed. Not even water, said Tim. Only water. 
said Mrs Berry. Sweet drinks can hurt your teeth as much as sweet food. Mrs Berry gave Topsy and Tim a badge each to remember them to look after their teeth. Come back and see me soon, she said. Before they went home, the receptionist wrote down the date of their next visit. A little boy came into the waiting room with his mummy. He was trying not to cry. It's Tony Welch, said Topsy. What's the matter, Tony? asked Tim. I've got toothache, sniffed Tony. He eats too many sweets, said Tony's mum. Never mind, said Topsy. Mrs Berry will make it better. On the way home, they passed a sweet shop. I would like some sweets, said Topsy, but I don't want toothache like Tony. There are other nice things that are better for you, said Mummy. She bought them lovely crunchy apples from the greengrocer. Then they went to the chemist to buy new toothbrushes. The chemist told them about disclosing tablets. Just chew half a tablet, then rinse your mouth with water, he explained. The parts of your teeth that most need cleaning will turn pink. We'd look funny going to school with pink teeth, said Tim. The chemist laughed. You clean away the pink bits with your new toothbrushes, he said. When there is no pink left, you know your teeth are clean. As soon as they got home, Topsy and Tim tried out their new toothbrushes. Mrs Berry won't be finding any holes in our teeth next time, said Topsy and Tim. The end. Well done for good listening, boys and girls. So this week, we are going to be talking about the importance of brushing your teeth. So do you know when you should brush your teeth? You should brush them in the morning and at night time. So tonight at bedtime or in the morning, as you're brushing your teeth, I'd like your mummies or daddies or grown-ups to take a picture of you if that's okay if that's okay with them and send it to me so I can see you brushing your teeth and do you know how long you have to brush your teeth for two minutes can you show me two one two two minutes so you should brush your teeth for two minutes in the morning and two minutes at night time and should you go to bed and eat food and drink fizzy drinks. Now, once you brush your teeth, you can only drink water after at bedtime or else the sweet stuff that you eat and drink can harm your teeth. Good listening, boys and girls. Right, I will see you at 11 o'clock for some phonics. Bye.